Hey guys, I know it's been more than a week since my last book recommendation video, so I'm going to get straight to the point, and here are my three book recommendations for this week. So a lot of you are interested in neuroscience, and so I thought I'd share a few books that I've read that I found really helpful to further my interest in neuroscience. The first book is The Human Brain by Susan Greenfield. I actually came across Susan Greenfield through reading another book of hers, which I'll mention later on in this video, but for those of you who are looking into a really concise guide to the human brain, I really recommend this book. This book is very concise, and it will very quickly give you a really good understanding of how the brain is structured, but also about higher levels of thinking. Susan Greenfield is actually a fellow at Oxford University, so those of you looking to apply to Oxford might want to read this, because, you know, who knows, your interviewer might know Susan Greenfield and may actually know this book quite well, and so you could have a really good discussion about it at your interview. Leading on from the book The Human Brain, I really recommend that you read this book, The Private Life of the Brain by Susan Greenfield. So I was actually introduced to this book back at school by a friend of mine who was reading this, um, and, you know, having seen him read this book, I was quite intrigued about it, because I was interested in the brain. Having read this book, I really recommend this book for those who really want a deeper understanding of neuroscience, particularly about high levels of thinking. In summary, this book goes on about how we become individuals, but also about how consciousness arises. I mentioned previously the book The Human Brain, and this book continues developing further into a lot of detail about how we become individuals, and about emotions, and how they help us become the conscious beings that we perceive ourselves as. It also talks a bit about behavioural psychology, and so if you are interested in that sort of stuff, definitely read it. So, for those interested in neuroscience, these two books are a must read in my opinion. The third book for this week is quite a big book, but it's a relatively easy read. It's called The Rise and Fall of Modern Medicine by James Le Fanu. This book is actually really good, because it actually goes through one of the most commonly asked medical questions at interview. What is the greatest innovation or medical advancement in the last hundred years? This book goes into a lot of detail about surgical advancements, about drug development, and about how our ideas and perception and understanding of disease has changed, and how that has led to such great innovation in healthcare and well-being of the human population. It pretty much goes through all of the key innovations that have taken place in medicine. And so by reading this book, you'll actually learn a lot of facts, but also you'll get to understand about how not everything in medicine is successful, and how things can sometimes turn out quite sour. So definitely make sure to read this book as well. So as always, go find these books, buy them on Amazon, or try and find them in a library or something, or try and borrow them with a friend, and get reading. I want to remind you guys that it's this summer period during which you really increase the amount of knowledge you have, but also these holidays are your best opportunity to increase the wider reading that you're doing. And so at interview, you can really prove to interviewers that you're really interested in medicine. A really good way of convincing medical interviewers that you really have an interest in medicine is by actually mentioning the wider reading that you've done, by pulling examples from books. And this will look really impressive, because not only have you read a book, you've actually understood it and, and questioned the ideas the book has put forward. And it's such a discussion that some interviewers will really like. So as always, thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe and do watch all my other videos. I am working on a few exciting things for you in the near future, so watch this space, there'll be a lot of good stuff coming soon. So take care, and I'll see you in the next video.